Welcome everybody to Dave Cooper Live, where we showcase the people, the products, and the processes that are building it better. And today is no different. So buckle up for a journey through the dynamic world of innovation and industry, because today we're diving into the complicated realm of logistic operations and the extraordinary efforts of our guests. What a year it has been. Our guest has been on an incredible listening tour, immersing themselves in the intricacies of the logistics landscape. They've been on a quest, asking the right questions and truly understanding the challenges that the offsite construction industry faces. It's been a year of discovery and learning, a testament to their dedication to staying at the forefront of industry evolution. But before we get into all that, we have to thank our sponsors because without them, we can no longer or can't continue to bring all of these innovative conversations to all of you out there. Forward Solutions Group is successfully driving companies to succeed where others have failed. Are you looking to start a factory, optimize your existing factory, streamline your production, or take your team to the next level? Whatever your needs are, Forward has a solution for you. Reach out to Ben at forwardsolutionsgroup.com. Halleck LTD has a long history of innovation in cold form steel manufacturing and producing innovative precision roll forming technology for customers throughout the United States and the world. Check out their machine buyer's guide for offsite modular construction or fast build construction with light steel for framing. Go to their website, HalleckLTD.com. Brought to you by Great Tech, one of the largest Autodesk partners globally and software developer of the Power Pack Advanced Design, Advanced Steel, and the StruxSoft product line. The complete solution to automate wood and light gauge steel framing, design and documentation, all the way out to CNC output, model, design, and manufacture with StruxSoft. Learn more at StruxSoftSolutions.com. All right, everybody, again, thank you to our sponsors. We can't bring you all these innovative conversations without them. So without further ado, let's hop into it with Carson Holmquist. Hey, Carson, how you doing, man? Doing good. It's great to be back on, Dave. No, dude, it's great to have you on. Uh, your energy, your enthusiasm, all the things that you guys have been doing over the last few years, your dedication of $50 million to the industry. I mean, so much has been happening this past year that uh, – I'm the one who's very grateful to have you on the show. So thanks for joining us. You bet. So before we hop into it, Carson, why don't you give everybody a little bit of background on who you are, what you do, where you come from. In fact, we want to know everything about you from the moment you were born to this very moment in time. Do not leave out of the good stuff from the hospital or we'll have your partners on the show. And I know it'll get embarrassing for you, but you only got a minute to do it. Jump in. All right. Sounds good. I won't go too far back, but um, myself and my business partner, Chad, started Stream Logistics in 2012. Uh, we've always focused on what we call high stakes freight, which is more of the technical and difficult end of the transportation spectrum. We love problem solving and we, we like high pressure scenarios. And that's how we discovered the offsite industry. We had our first project in 2019. I fell in love with the industry. I knew we could contribute to um, more innovation, more stability, more efficiency in the offsite industry. So we've been moving mods, pods and panels since 2019. And in 2023, at the beginning of this year, we launched Stream Modular, which is a full-blown team and, and, and a bunch of resources we're dedicating to making sure that specifically the large volume uh, modular projects are as successful and as efficient as possible. You know, it's funny, right? Because uh, we work with the, you and Stream Logistics and Stream Lot Modular now for a couple years. And, you know, you're not paying to come on the show. And I just want everybody to know that, like, this is an invitation because there are so many great things that you're doing. Uh, we're hearing so many great things from leaders uh, that own manufacturing across this country that are working with you that absolutely are loving it because you're bringing a different approach. You're bringing technology. Uh, you're bringing a well-versed team to make all this happen. Happening. So I'm looking forward to this conversation and sharing it because what we do here is help everybody else be better, right? How do we work together? How do we be better? So this is going to be fun. So, you know, I'm going to get into it, man. So let's do it. 
logistics, right? It's where you started. Stream Modular is where you're at now, along with Stream Logistics. You put a ton of effort into the uh, listening tour, which I think is amazing. You know, and you went out and you're doing some of your own podcast. You're doing some of your own video, which I think everybody should do. But what it's doing is helping you learn and educate yourself, educate your team uh, on how you can expand your business and grow and help others. So why don't you touch on this a little bit and tell us kind of how did this all begin? Yeah, it began in 2019. We did we did one project and it happened to be a, a panel project um, for a hotel. And it was very difficult. We, we saw how impeccable the timing had to be. Right. We had we we had to perform. Uh, with a level of precision that's not normal in other realms of transportation, which I loved because we had to put together a really good plan. Uh, we flew out to the job site, made, made sure that um, we we unearthed any potential challenges before the project started so we could start thinking critically about it. And it was just really fun. So I went on a personal mission within our company to figure out what, you know, what, what is this offsite industry? I hadn't heard about it since then or, or up until that point. And we discovered the panels, uh, the pod industry, and then and then the module industry. And so for about three years, we were helping out as much as we could without having specialized equipment to help the industry. So we were using flatbeds and step decks and RGNs, whatever we could use um, to help manage logistics. And we really started building incredible capabilities around project management and how to think about risk management and cost containment. But to your point, you, t you called it a, a listening tour. I like, I like the way you described that. Um, we went around and met with factory after factory, specifically specifically the larger uh, volumetric modular factories that are doing the multifamily projects and hospitality. And we knew the common trailer types don't work for what they need. We have to have the ability to load and unload modules on and off of cribbing without the use of crane, without the use of special equipment, and without the use of factory labor. So we couldn't help them on the largest scale projects, which mean which meant to us we couldn't help advance the industry and help advance uh, offsite technology without making big investments. Which is why we launched Stream Modular in the beginning of 2023. It was really it was really about taking some of the some of our best team members with project management experience, take them off of all other freight other than the modular industry, so they can learn. They have a really fast iteration cycle high density of the experience so every project they they did they can learn and leverage that to the next project make it even better but the biggest thing we did is invest in building custom trailers to allow us to load and unload modules and that that's that investment has has started um has started something really big for us because now we're actually able to help these larger projects all right i gotta do a record scratch on this here because you guys started building your own custom trailers based on the unique pieces of the industry that you're working with on, whether it's commercial, hotels, whatever the case is. So you looked at it, you looked at where you could provide the most value to these companies. And you said, not only are we going to transport it, but we're going to put our team to work to engineer some of the, the, the best, safest, ways to transport your units to the job site and make it efficient as possible. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, yes. And it was <laughs> and it was because we had the right conversations. Yeah. We went we went to the these factories. They're aspirational clients for us. We said, "Hey, right. how can we help? How can we help?" And we kept hearing the same things. Unless you have this capability, you can't help us, and we would love to help. And there's, you know, there's a handful of of transportation providers who have been doing it a long time and they're doing good work. But the industry is growing. There needs to be more. And every factory, even if they loved who they're working with, said, "Hey, we, we've got a deep pipeline. We know we need we need more help today, and we're going to need even more in the future. What can you do to build it? And we heard that conversation enough where we said, all right, now is go time. Like, we, we know the demand is there. We also know that we can't make the impact we want to make on the offsite industry unless we help solve this. So we went, designed, right. found a manufacturer, and spent the money to, to create a solution. Do me a favor and explain the difference between stream logistics and stream modular. So our logistics team, which is now ran by my business partner, Chad, he's staying, staying focused on that. And that's more general freight. It's still high stakes freight. Um, but it's everything everything that we transport other than the modular industry, mods, pods, and panels. At Stream Modular, our team only works on offsite construction. And so 
we're we're doing project management in the type of scope we always see in 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 offsite uh, offsite construction, particularly in volumetric 3D modular. So that involves staging, uh, you know, managing staging yards, doing line hall two staging yards, shuttling, and being boots on the ground and making sure the projects are, are going smoothly, specifically during the set process. So you're not just a logistic company uh, for just the delivery. You're actually fully engaged with the manufacturing facilities uh, at the at the onset of delivery, but also on the job site to make sure the staging area is set up properly with the crane sets and everything else. Yeah, um, we have to be, Dave. I mean, uh, Danny Small of, of Da Vinci Consulting, uh, he, he's, a, he's a friend of mine, but um, he has this concept, which I love, which is an old Clayton Christensen concept, which is the jobs to be done theory. Meaning a client hires you to do a job, yeah. not hiring you for something you know specific, not how you do it. And the job to be done is get those modules from the factory and get them to the crane. So a, a, a set crew like ProSet can do what they do. And in most projects, mm -hmm. it requires a staging yard as well. So we just started, uh, we, we just did for the first time, we contracted our own staging yard. We went out, we found the land, we negotiated the lease. We, we set up 24 hour security, man security. We, we arranged the cribbing with mod cribs. Um, we did we did the module layout to make sure everything's in sequence and prepared. So we did everything. So we not only transported them from the factory to the staging yard, but we did all the staging yard management. Then we did the shuttling to the job site to pro set and let them do their thing. So it's that coordinated effort. It's way more than transportation. It is truly project management. And our team has built incredible capabilities around that. Now we're pairing it with the right equipment. That's amazing. And you guys are also using technology, right? GPS tracking and others yeah. so you know where the shipments are so you can be more precise on your on-time delivery. Yeah. Yeah. We've invested a lot in technology. We built our own software to run everything related to our company. And every one of our trailers has GPS. It's all API'd into our system so we can see the orchestrated dance of the project right. in a visual form. And we always know where, exactly where every module is at any given moment. There's a reason you're starting off your year with a thousand unit modular delivery, you know, coming up, you know, um, that's impressive, man. And that's only one company and you guys are working yeah. with several uh, and there's a whole logistics to the logistics, right? Yeah. I mean, when you think about the the size of some of these companies you're working with, the projects you're working on, uh, your team, your team itself has to be a team within that can manage your own logistics. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, by the time we pick up our first module, Dave, yeah. we usually have a couple dozen hours invested in the process, in planning and visiting the job site, visiting the factory, setting up the staging yard. And so the more work we do up front, the more smooth the project will go. And we, we have more time to plan for um, the inevitable iterations that will have to come based off of real world scenarios. 2023 accomplishments. Let's talk about that, right? You, you put in $50 million, I think it was the beginning of the year, right? When we you announced that, you know, over the course of the next 25 years, you guys want to invest in, in new technology and ideas and uh, driving the industry forward. But I mean, you have several other things because Stream Modular started this year as well. So, I mean, yeah. it's not like you're busy or anything. Yeah, we're really busy. It's been really fun. Um, in a lot of ways, it's been more difficult than that we anticipated, but we've gotten more done. We've got an incredible team. Our team at Stream Modulars, unlike anything. I mean, our, our COO, Jonathan, who's been with us for basically a decade, he's out there at job sites, he's moving cribbing, he's, you know, he's getting his hands dirty and, and as well as the rest of our team. So it's really fun. So in terms of accomplishments, Dave, so we set out to build these trailers. We didn't get our first one till May. And then now we have 22 trailers by the end of the year. So we've made big investment. We're, we're going to build at least at least as many next year as well. Um, we did. We moved 1,052 modules for 3D volumetric multifamily or hospitality projects, which exceeded our goal. And next year we're on pace to do. We think we'll do about 3,500 modules. Wow. So it's uh, we've been busy. We're learning a lot. And the best thing is, is every single time we do a project, it's an opportunity for us to get even better. And change yeah. your, you know, change what we're doing uh, to make us even more efficient. There's a saying, Dave. We we say we're married to our mission, meaning what we're trying to accomplish, but we're not married to our methods. Right? What we're doing today may work, but let's figure out a way to make it work even better. And, and so we're constantly evolving and, and making sure that 
our offering is even more compelling to factories and to general contractors. Well, for sure. And, and I'll, I'd be really interested to learn more about what you're thinking there, right? Especially with the general contractors. Yeah. Uh, I think that's interesting because that's different than the developer. That's different than the manufacturer. So now you're looking to help supplement what they do. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. I mean, really the whole orchestration of what we're doing is on behalf of the general contractor, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's their job to get this thing constructed. And so their experience with us great uh, helps shape what they think about the the modular technology in general, right? It's like, how smooth can everything go? Do we want, does that general contractor want to use modular tech technology again or not, right? And so the easier and more reliable we can make it, the better. And one of the things that they've had, mo they mostly have to take care of is that station guard piece. They don't want to, it's irritating and annoying work. We know because Aaron and our team probably spent three dozen hours finding, right. finding the right land, negotiating lease and doing all this stuff. Like we, we know it's difficult. We want to start taking that over. We already have our next project where we're managing a staging yard. That's an offering we're going to build out. Um, so we're looking and we're saying, what can make this process easier for the factory, for the set crew, for the general contractor? And we're going to go make those investments. I love it. Find the headaches, fix the headaches for them, and then yeah. everything else goes smooth because you are the expert when it comes to logistics and stagings. General contractors are typically not, and it can become a headache, especially if they don't stack the modules right for the crane lifts, and it can really become a quick nightmare. I love it. Collaboration. You mentioned mod cribs earlier. How important has it been for you, not just with mod cribs, uh, you know, but collaboration in general in this industry to get from where you started in uh, 2019 to where you are today. I, we wouldn't be where we are without collaborations. And our collaboration with you, Dave, is, is a perfect example. Going to some of your events, um, watching your show, really getting a fast track on what the industry is and what it needs. That's been super helpful. But, you know, collaborations like, like Mod Cribs is an incredible invention. I, I've been, I've been pushing their product. I've been celebrating it because I've personally moved old wood cribbing. My team has. We had we had a driver in a, in a project in October throw his back out, moving these heavy mod cribs, 120 pound. Uh, sorry, moving traditional wood cribs, 120 pound cribs. I know that it's a better product. So w when when we find other stakeholders in the industry making investments like we are and wanting to improve the industry, or wanting to improve the state of of current processes. We love to collaborate with them. A lot of that's set crews and, 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 you know, people like CombiLift and like, right. There's people out there who are also doing what we're doing, which is trying to make it easier for others to adopt this technology. And, and we, we love those collaborations. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing that our industry is so open to do so, especially when we get together at events, you know, and thank you for the shout out and, you know, for everything you said about what we do here. Um, my job's easy, man. I just got to tell the story of everybody else and get everybody to stop thinking they're in a silo and bring the world together so we can build it better, right? So you guys are out there doing all the hard work, taking taking the splinters, moving the old big old wood cribbings around. Yeah. What's 2024 looking like for you, Carson? Not I, I know you said you're going to be doing a little over 3,000 is what the goal is, yeah. but in general, what is your outlook on the industry? What are you seeing out there? You have your own growth. But are you feeling something different going into 2024 than what you felt 2023 in the offsite space? Yes. Yeah. I mean, we understand it better. So it's hard to untangle that to what I'm feeling. But there are a lot of new factories and really good quality factories coming up. There's a whole slew of them coming up in, in, in Tijuana, you know, steel frame module factories. You got Diego doing his thing in Southern California. Um, new, new factories are popping up, which is great, which is great. And you've got the existing factories. A lot of them are in, are, in, are in growth mode or some of them are stabilizing young factories that they're still getting their footing and are really starting to hit their stride. So it really feels like if we're not there yet, we're hit, we're approaching an inflection point where, where this is going to become much more mainstream. Uh, general contractors are going to get way more comfortable with using modular uh, methodologies and Right now, Dave, there's not a lot of market rate apartments being built. So a lot of what's going on in the industry is some, you know, some sort of subsidized housing, whether it's affordable housing, transitionary housing, or vertically integrated multifamily projects. So when interest rate environment changes and the market rate apartment demand starts coming back, we can see a real big spike. And I think some of the, 
the factories that are making investments now are going to reap the rewards of, of good timing here in the near future. And hopefully it's, you know, the next 18 to 36 months, we start to really feel that. Yeah, and you're right. There is a, a bunch of new manufacturing happening, not only in this in, in the United States, but you're right. Uh, in, in Mexico, South America, I just came back from Southwest Asia. Who would have thought? Right. Uh, South Korea. I mean, there's so much happening. Um, and it's funny as the United States has an eye on the rest of the world. The rest of the world has their eye in the United States at the moment, too. All right. So uh, I think it's I think it's a great thing. And I absolutely agree with you that, yes, those that are making the investment now. Um, I mean, it, the outlook's looking very, very strong for the offsite space because we need housing. It's, it's simple. Uh, you just drive around any city. You can see that. Yep. And and no one technology has to win, right? Because there's so much demand, the problem is big yeah. enough where a site build still going to exist, modular exists, panels will exist, right? Uh, right? You know, mass timber. So it's really fun to see because everyone's experimenting and there's, you know, there's some obvious early signs of, of wins that we can maybe, we can multiply and pour some gasoline on, but there's still new innovation coming along all the time. So it's a really fun industry. It's still founder led. I always say that because I love working with founders because that there's yeah. nothing like that, the energy of a founder. So a lot of these factories, when we're going and talking with them, we're talking to the founder. We're, we're, we're tapping into their vision. What are you trying to accomplish here? How can we help you do it? A lot of industries at a more mature level, you're not doing that, right? You're, you're, you're talking to, you're talking to hired executives, which, which can also be phenomenal people, but there's nothing like that founder energy. So it's been so fun. I, I'm, I'm the most energized I have been in my career. We feel like we're just getting started and um, we got a lot more to do. You know, it's you're absolutely right about talking directly to the people that have their pulse on the company, right? Yeah. They started the company or they got the, you know, partners and some investors in the company, some of which have spent over a hundred plus million dollars. So these aren't small time investments. These are big investments uh, with a lot of people behind them. And I think what's really cool too, Carson, the technology side of this, when we look at some of these bigger companies that are, when I say bigger companies, these manufacturing facilities that are taking it to the next level, they're also attracting the attention of some of the bigger companies out there that do automation, that do software, that do AI, because they're now looking at our industry because they want to help. So spot on, man. I love it. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, Sometimes you just have to get enough spark energy, like little yeah. enough energy where those those potential vendors are now come to you and say, hey, what, what's going on here? You know, like there's something interesting here. How can we help? And then then the industry really starts to form around that early energy and yeah. being in it. It feels like that energy is there. So before we wrap up here, Carson, who, uh, who, who it, it, what would you like to leave with our audience? Is there anything that we didn't cover? Did I miss anything that you feel is important? Uh, you know, and what do you, what do you, what do you wish for in the new year? Oh well, I I hope for um, all the factories who are who are out there making investments to to find success. Right, what they're doing is very difficult. We get to see it firsthand. I'm I'm always um i have so much ad admiration for what they're doing right it's like that man in the arena they're in the arena doing the thing how can we go help them be more successful so um i'm cheering on anyone in the industry whether they're key stakeholders or uh you know supporting cast like what we're doing or the factories themselves um and you know i would like to say that thank you to all the clients who have worked with us or have made commitments to work with us early in, in 2024 um you know, it allows us, that experience allows us to get even better and help them grow and, and achieve their goals. So every single chance we get to do a project, I'm, I'm very grateful. We don't take it for granted. And we use that experience to build upon and uh, and help help make their factories, uh, you know, reach their highest potential. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know, uh, on our end, we're going to keep having events. So I hope you keep attending our events and supporting our events. I do appreciate it. Uh, I do want to ask, so I, I got to be a little bit selfish. How, how has some of our events that we held this year with the industry leaders been uh, from, from a collaboration standpoint, from a business standpoint? Uh, did you find them worthwhile? Oh, absolutely. They're invaluable. I mean, we've, we built some relationships from those events that have turned into real collaborations, real business, real projects. And I've witnessed it happen in the room as well, right? Just like 
uh, Diego and Peter. I think yeah. they met at one of your events, right? And now we oh, got yeah. Mid-Rise Modular. Yeah. Who knows what would have happened without the event? So those events and others, you know, like World of Modular, Advancing Prefab, those things yep. are so important because you get people who are all trying to solve the same thing, right? We all kind of directionally have the same vision, right? They may have some nuanced difference, but directionally we all have the same vision. So you you get that type of energy in the room, like, you know, it, something happens, something happens. We see yep. it. We're always excited for the next event, your events in particular, when you're getting some of the business leaders um, from this industry in one room, it's incredible. So we, we really you. applaud what you're doing, what, what you what you and Jen are doing. And we always look forward to the next one. Well, I'll tell you what, man, it's amazing when you get all these people that think they're on an island by themselves together and they start talking and then they start saying, well, I'm too busy for this job. Maybe we should collaborate on this one. Where's your factory? Uh, that's been fun. And this year we had people all the way from uh, Turkey, Dorche, which they're doing 400 modules a day out their door. Too bad you're not doing logistics in Turkey, man. I know. I know. <laughs> I got to I got to meet with, with them at your last event. You know, that's just incredible. That scale yeah. is, I mean, it's just hard to imagine, but. Yeah, it's yeah. It, th those events are incredible. They're inspirational too. It's like you see what others are doing. Yeah, it makes you want to get back to the office and get after it. It's really fun. Well, when you love what you do and you clearly love what you do, I'm having a blast helping everybody love what they do, and I love what I do. So, Carson, I appreciate it, and I hope everybody that's watching this had a had a had a wonderful Christmas or happy holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. I'm open to any party. It doesn't matter. I'm whatever you whatever you celebrate. I'm in. Bring me. I'm okay. gone. Um, yeah. and, and we have New Year's uh, right around the corner here, so I hope everybody has a new happy New Year as well. What do you think? Yeah, same. I mean, this this time of year, obviously, it's nice to slow down a little bit, enjoy some time with family, friends. Um, but we're we're excited to hit the ground running next year, and we're excited to get out and see everyone, get back on the road, uh, visit some factories, and and go make things happen. You know what? And I know you're going to do that. And I know your team's going to do it. So, Carson, thank you so much for joining us. Everybody else, hope you have a happy new year coming up. And, hey, stick around just to say thank you to these sponsors as well. I'm Dave Cooper. And that is my good friend over there, Carson Holmquist, Stream Logistics, Stream Modular, best in the industry. We'll see you. What an amazing show. Thank you to all of our sponsors for helping us to continue to bring all of these innovative conversations to all of you out there. Please visit them, see what they have to offer you. And as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring that bell. It would mean the world to us. I'm Dave Cooper. Thanks for watching. <laughs>